Yep. All right, favorite first question. Can you just say and spell your first and last name for us? Uh, Carter Warren. Should I say my first and last name? Yeah, and spell it. Oh, C A R T E R um, W A R R E N. So this is kind of your initiative here. Tell us a little bit about how this all came to be. Um, I just uh, started with a dream and a passion. Um, I say growing up, um, I was always in the boys and girls club, so I just wanted to give back, you know, and just uh, just play with the kids today. You know what I mean? It's all about them, and I um, just wanted to have fun with them. So. How did kind of you get to team up with this Boys and Girls Club here and kind of how did the process all come together so that, you know, you're here today working with the kids, having a blast with them type thing? Um, really, I just reached out to um, some of my coaches on the team, you know, uh, was familiar with the area. And then from then, yeah, it just took off, you know. Um, I found a guy, you know, that helped really helped me out and get this all worked out. So, yeah, I'm excited. What does it mean to you to be able to give back to the community this way, especially now with NIL and having the opportunity to do things you guys didn't have before? Definitely. It's an amazing feeling. Um, you know, uh, I'm excited to, to be out here once again. I'm excited to be out here, but um, it means a lot to me. Um, growing up, you know, um, living in Patterson, New Jersey, you know, it's not much around. Um, it's a tough area, you know, but um, the Boys and Girls Club, that was a safe haven for a lot of people, you know, so I um, just wanted to give back and be out here today with, with the kids. So I'm excited. Carver, what do some of the kids say to you when you're when you're hearing these these type of visits? Oh my God, you're so tall. That's what they say. All the time, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, oh um, yeah, just how big are you? How tall are you? You know what I mean? How much do you bench? So yeah, the kids are funny, you know. So yeah. What does it mean to you to kind of look at their reactions and just see how much fun you guys are creating for them? Definitely, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, just to see them smiling, playing around. Um, I'm so pumped up to get going today with them, and um, yeah, it's pretty it's a cool feeling. Carter, you're just one guy, but how did you get your, your four buddies here to go along with something like this? I asked them, man. You know, they, they're my best friends, you know what I mean? And um, I wanted to have them here with me. You know, it's a team, a team event, you know, even though my name's on the shirt. It's a team event, so I just wanted them to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important for an offensive line to stay together for the 12 games of the season, but it's also important for guys that stay together off the field. Do you guys do a lot of stuff off the field besides what you're doing today? You guys, any of them, we do everything together, you know what I mean? We're a tight knit group. Um, that's why we have a lot of success on the field. Are you going to get a restaurant deal like Picket Head Rest? Oh, man, we're going to see, man. I have no idea. I'll let you know soon, though. Man. So you're carrying on his legacy because he did this last year with the Boys and Girls Club. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that important? Do they, they keep this thing going through, through uh, other pit classes as we go into the future? It's definitely important. Um, just coming together as a team, you know, um, eating that dinner it, uh, really brings the group together, you know what I mean? Just, um, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Kind so of, uh, what what, what, go ahead, I'm sorry. what brought you to Millville? Uh, like I said earlier, um, I got connected here um, with somebody uh, with, a, with somebody on the coaching staff. You know, they really uh, plugged me in. I was familiar with the area, and yeah, really um, showed me what, what this, this town is all about. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here and get working with the kids. So. What do you hope the kids take away from us? Um, that. Honestly, you can do anything you put your mind to, you know what I mean? If you want to play football, you know, um, play any sport, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you just put your mind to. That's what you really do. You guys have a heck of a bar to cross after winning your championship last year. What's your hopes and ambitions and goals for this year's season? Uh, we're going to have a great season. That's it, man. Uh, right now, I really want to focus on the kids right now. But um, there's big things coming for uh, good football this year. That's it. Did you get any help from Kits and the Alcoa like the Alliance for 12 on setting this up? It was solely from Sammy. I did not get no help from Sammy. Anything else? Good. Good. Okay, who's next?